Extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how to create a, an image design along a path. Now you could approach this using the brushes and I've done quite a few videos with brushes basically just using the uh, pa pass panel over here just go over there and you can actually see a stroke path option that will apply the brush design to the selected path. Now probably a better way of doing actually if you want to use an image because one thing with an image you want the colour of the image. You don't want to lose it. You just don't want to turn it into a grayscale design, which you might do, of course. But if you don't, you want the colour. Then the best way to do it is go to Photoshop Open, actually to open the file. Obviously, you want to save it as a pattern first. I'm going to select one of these diamond designs. Now they're created for as brushes, but you can use them equally well as patterns. Click Open, and you'll see a design there. Now you could use that, but I'm also just going to quickly apply style Photoshop style so I'm just going to add a, some little interest there make it metallic okay go to edit and define pattern command right so got it as a pattern now instead of a brush like, like I say I could save it as a brush use the previous approach but now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna actually create a pass very basic pass but a pass same just basic using the pen tool there and set the option there for pass you'll see it now appear over here down here the pass you can't see that window pass okay so once you've actually got that next thing to do is go to edit and fill now the whole thing about this video is you'll need the latest version of Photoshop obviously if you've got creative cloud subscription that is no problem if you haven't got obviously Photoshop CC then you've got problems you basically have to use the brush approach and therefore you'll lose the color okay edit fill and the key thing here is scripted patterns set that to pattern there and select the pattern so that's the diamond design there scripted patterns place along path there's a few other options but place along path click ok now the one thing about this comes up with a lovely dialogue though sadly doesn't actually reflect the actual design so um, with a slightly large pattern you this well it works best with a very small about 100 by 100 pattern 100, that sort of size if you've got something like 400 by 400 500 but it doesn't actually match so it's a bit of trial and error but anyway it's fairly quick and easy to actually create but set the pattern scale so I've just set it fairly small I just want them all along set the spacing now you can create the spacing set and again let's say trial by error set the adjust spacing to fit so it actually fits right to the end you can obviously change the distance from path I've actually set it so it's on the path I don't want it to be away and this bit skip symbol rotation now if you set that on it actually will rotate the symbol I don't want that I actually want to set and define the direction the symbol the design to be along that path so basically set that off and set that to 90 degrees obviously depends on the actual path that you've actually set for the the actual design the pattern design so if obviously you've got a slight angle say if you've got it at 45 degrees already you might have to set that to 45 and not 90 anyway now click OK and then it will just quickly add that design and there you have it you have basically got a quick and easy image image design added to a path and of course you can create ever complex paths maybe create them in Illustrator or just obviously in Photoshop just basically just adding additional points okay so if you actually want to create even slightly more complicated than that one I'm just going to quickly show you another option fill again edit fill click OK and you can obviously modify the spacing you actually make it a bit closer so it becomes near enough like a I don't know if you've used if you've used painter you will see it like a nozzle design this is basically approaching nozzles in terms of and you can actually change the scaling progression so I'm just gonna make it very subtly different you don't want to make it too different but say 100.6 click OK and there you will see basically you can make it really really crunched up and quite intense and again you can obviously modify it and make it sort of disappear I'm just gonna now go the other way click 
click OK. And I'm going to change the progression to be uh, 97. So it actually shrinks this time. And you can see it actually does go in there just basically. And of course you can just keep applying this and maybe changing the pattern. So you don't have to go with the same pattern. You could actually create, change the actual diamond design. Very easy. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest.